say this. <clears throat> I left Facebook um, as a platform because the same sort of issues were consistently happening from the time I started. For folks who don't know me, I run a digital media and education company called The Body Is Not an Apology. I'm an author. I'm an activist. Um, and uh, and an artist. And when I started The Body Is Not an Apology, which started first as a Facebook page, part of the intention of the space was always about how do we radically celebrate and embrace all versions of ourselves, all versions of beings and identities. And from jump, I want to say we probably got, within the first 30 days, we'd had a post taken down. I have a social media admin. I have both my page, Sonia Renee Taylor, and um, The Body Is Not An Apology has its own page. Um, and my social media admin, Shannon, runs that page, makes sure the content is aligned. She's excellent, does a really beautiful job. And so on the day before uh, MLK Day, she posted a quote from MLK, <laughs> like everybody does around MLK Day. His word. It just so happens. His huh? word. His word. His word. He's not, these are our words. This just, this just Dr. Martin Luther the King and what he has said about the danger of moderate whites. That's what he has said 60 cool years ago. <laughs> you know, that now, and then I went to log in um, and there was something weird because both of the accounts are attached to my accounts. I went to log in and it wasn't letting me like update the page. And I was like, oh, that's weird. But I went on sort of gloss over it. And then Shannon sent me a message or San Shannon sent a post that was about how it had been taken down. And I'm like, with with what reasoning? <laughs> what was the reason that they gave? Oh, oh, um, it violated the community guidelines under the guise of hate speech. So Dr. Martin Luther King <laughs> is violating Instagram's guidelines on hate speech, which for me says immediately, Instagram has Instagram has some really fucked up guidelines around hate speech. You think so, something is wrong. <laughs> so if Dr. Martin Luther King's words, who I'm certain you used his image, he was up in your stories, you slapped him on your corporation. I know this to be true. But now his words are hate speech. Two days ago, a video that's been up for a while, like a week or so. I did, you know, I do these videos called What's Up Y'all's. They are literally just me riffing about the world, things that I encounter, and my thoughts and reflections about them. Right. And I did a what's up, y'all. Katie Couric had a conversation um, with a constitutional lawyer. And the constitutional lawyer was talking about how it was unlikely that Trump could ever be reelected. And it made me stop and be like, here's the deal, white folks. Y'all stop making projections about the world. Because every time you do, <laughs> you, you miss the boat and heinous, horrible things happen. And it is because inside of whiteness you can't fully see how whiteness operates right you're a fish inside the water and as a fish inside the water you can't describe what water is going to do because it's just all you know but people who get slapped with the waves might have a better reflection about what's possible what's what's possible to happen as a result of stormy waters so let so how about you just listen to us that was the post i logged on two days ago and Post it again. I can't scroll. I can't upload my page. I'm like, what's going on? And then I'm redirected to a. This post has been removed for violating community standards around hate speech. And I was like, so telling white people the white that their white supremacist delusion causes us harm is hate speech. And that for me is the you know I'm like. Because then what happens is these platforms go and hide behind, well, it's the AI. You know, we use AI to move more efficiently. It's the algorithms. I'm like, you coded a racist ass algorithm. You've seen it yourselves. How many racist ass, white supremacist ass, problematic ass posts, comments, people come on your posts and say all manner of things. I've done it. I've recorded people and have been told that it does not violate their guidelines. What are your guidelines? Our guidelines are don't make white people upset. You know, I have to hold the truth that like when somebody makes it clear you're not welcome, 
why stay? Somebody just said, well, how do we collapse the apps? You collapse the apps by not using it. So I'm give y'all really quick my VCR theory. <laughs> I've been talking about this a lot lately. So the VCR theory is everybody had a VCR in the 80s if you're in my age. I'm dating myself, right? <laughs> I'm 25. You had a VCR. Right, for life. <laughs> But everybody had a VCR. It was the way you watch movies. It was cool. Giant, clunky-ass cases, and you had them stacked up to the ceiling if you really had a popping, you know, a popping collection. And we don't have VCRs anymore, right? We don't even have DVDs half the time. Why? Because somebody built a platform upon which the houses all the things, and that's where we watch now. Right. And everything in the marketplace operates off of that same premise, which is when a better thing exists, the old thing becomes obsolete. What I want to offer is that the better thing is always us. It's not the thing. It's us. It's not the platform. It's us. It's not, it's not, it's us. Say that. We are why IG is popping. Say that. IG isn't popping because IG is popping. Say that. IG is popping because the brilliance and the blackness that is technology that is Yaba Blaze creation of judgment free zone is why IG is popping. The content that you follow from the brilliant black people that you follow it from is the thing that you're here for. You're not here for IG. So it, we can take that any place. You're not stuck here. This is not digital slavery. We are on these platforms as long as they serve us, not that we serve them. And right now we are the product. That's why, that's why the shit is free. Because we are the product. Mm. And it's our turn to recognize that we are, which also means if we are the product, if you don't have shit to sell, then you don't have a platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me, so let, me really let me let that sit on my shoulders for a okay, second. Turn that in. <laughs> let me let that sit that's on my, because that's real. That's real because again, <laughs> moment of honesty as an independent people's worker, Right. Oftentimes I struggle with how is it that I'm going to connect with people so that they I've gotten so many gigs just from people's recommendations, folks who see how I get down, yeah. you know, on IG or, or wherever. Right. There are a lot of people who yeah. build their entire businesses based upon social media and social media followings. So when stuff like this happens and I can speak for myself, I know a, a lot of people have these experience when stuff like this happens, you panic. I panic. If I'm shadow banned and I can't reach people in the moment of quarantine when I can't get on planes and trains and go speak in places and make my money, the ways in which I hustle usually, normally, whatever that is or was, I panic because if my X amount of thousands of followers aren't seeing my content, who am I talking to? How am I going to connect, right? Do I have to go to right. another platform? Do I have to go somewhere else? You know, and again, for me, just based upon experiences, as much as folks will be in the comments and be like, I'm with you, sis, and love and like everything and share, when it comes down to it, asking folks to leave the platform that they too love, yeah. are they going to come, right? But this notion in this moment of you talking about like, we are the technology, like it's, it's yeah. that moment where you look in the mirror and recognize who you are and recognize you the are. value that you bring, that this place Which is means that wherever you go, it's gonna be popping. That's what, like, and I think sometimes, particularly black folks, white supremacy is what it is designed to make us forget that. It is designed to make us forget that the truth of the matter is that the party is wherever the fuck we showed up at. And the reason that you have amassed the followers you have is because you have what it is that people want, and they will find you. Instagram cannot be my source and my measure. Mm. If, if a white supremacist institution is my source and my measure, mm. then I will always be in lack. Girl, come on. You see and me, so I look, refuse look, you, to you, you, you see me sitting here. <laughs> it's tapping me on my shoulder. <laughs> That's a word. You know? And so I really... And I trust, and I believe that we are in this age where it's really, that's, that's the thing for us to really plant in our hearts, right? Because it's what, because without it, that's the ceiling on where we can go, right? It's the ceiling on what we can create. And I'm like, ain't no ceiling. Ain't no, ain't no ceiling. Ain't no ceiling. We needed to hear that. I needed to mm. hear that.